So this recipe is for apple crumble, a really traditional way of using oats in a great British dessert. So what I'm going to be using for this recipe is some Bramley apples, or you can use any English cooking apples. And we've got some flour, obviously our oats to make the topping. We've got sugar and we've got butter. All you need to do is just to peel it, just take the outer peeling off. And then what you're going to do is just chop this into slices reasonably fine so that they'll cook nice and fast. What I'm going to do is put this in the bowl and I'm going to add cinnamon and lemon juice and just stir all that together. So just sprinkling over some cinnamon and then I'm just using some lemon juice I'm just going to mix them all together to make sure all the slices are coated with the cinnamon and the lemon juice. I'm just laying the apples out on the baking tray and these are going to go into the oven for 10 minutes just to soften the apple slices. I'm just going to put a little bit of water over them to make sure they cook through and soften up nicely. So now I'm going to make the topping for the crumble and this is a very traditional way to make apple crumble. I've got some flour here, just going to pop that into the bowl. And then we're adding these lovely organic Mournflake oats. And these have got a really nice consistency and this is a very traditional way to make um, a crumble topping because what it's doing is not give, only giving a really nice flavour but that's going to give you the real crumble texture to it. So pour those in and then you've got butter. Now it's best just to have this at room temperature or just melt it slightly because what you want to be able to do is just mix the three ingredients together until you get a consistency that starts to look like, basically like breadcrumbs. So if it's a little bit softer, that really does help to get the consistency right. So give it a good mix through the fingers. Make sure that the flour and the oats are combining. And you'll see once the butter starts to break down, then add in, I've got demerara sugar here. That's just to give some sweetness to the topping. And again, mix them all through to make sure that all the ingredients are combined really well. Just grab just a tiny, just want a tiny pinch again of sea salt. And then just sprinkle that over, just grinding that between your fingers. And again, just make sure that's nicely combined all through the mixture. So the apples are now ready to come out of the oven. They've been cooking at 170 for 10 minutes and they're softened and ready for the crumble topping to go on. I'm just sprinkling a little bit of sugar or you can use sweetener over the top of them just to bring all that sweetness into the apple crumble. And then over the cooked apples, just going to start pouring the crumble mixture, making sure that all of the apple slices are covered. That needs to go into the oven now for 30 to 35 minutes at 170 degrees. I've got one in the oven already cooking, which I'm now going to bring out and show you. It's nice and golden brown. It's piping hot. I'm going to serve up a nice, generous portion of the crumble. And then pour some piping hot custard over the top of it to make a perfect traditional apple crumble pudding.